Rimmer's music and thank you very much for watching that first part of this video playing this beautiful Epiphone Les Paul standard 50s in Heritage Cherry Sunburst and the iconic Fender Player Series Strat in black with a maple neck. I've done this video to help people so if you've never played guitar before or maybe you have been playing, you've been playing an acoustic guitar or a starter electric guitar pack and you're wanting the next step up so the next guitar either a Les Paul or a Strat, this video is to explain the difference between them and just give you a bit of an insight into both these iconic guitars. They're both available to buy right now on the Rimmers Music website, rimmersmusic.co.uk. You can find a link to both of these guitars in the description below this video if you're watching on YouTube or Facebook. If you are watching on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to the Rimmers Music YouTube channel. We've got videos coming every single day now on all sorts of different products, brand new products, used products, X display. We've got you covered here at Rimmers Music for videos, which link to our website where you can see the listings. This video hopefully will be enjoyable for you. I'm not going to ramble on too much because literally with both of these guitars, you could easily keep talking about them because they are both they're both a piece of history as regards to what guitars are. So the Epiphone Les Paul standard. So the Les Paul is a very, very famous body shape named after the famous Les Paul himself, who was an absolutely phenomenal musician. If you've never watched him or listened to any of the music that he's done, you must check it out on YouTube and all sorts of other uh, platforms for streaming music. It was that good and that iconic, they actually named a guitar after him and that was what this is. It's, so it's the Epiphone Les Paul. It's an introduction this one into the world of Gibson guitars. Epiphone are part of the Gibson family and this is, it is a brilliant introduction. It really, really is. This, this guitar and the Fender Strat as well are both around the £500 mark. Uh, just a little bit above, a little bit below. So they're at a brilliant price point. If you've just started out, it's not a massive amount of money uh, to spend on a guitar. You're not going into the thousands, but you are getting such a brilliant instrument. If you've just started playing and you've maybe had an acoustic guitar and you're thinking of upgrading to an electric, going on to the world of electric guitars, and you've seen loads of people with these guitars, I mean, so many famous players, Slash, Massive Gibson Ambassador, Jeff Beck, Eric Clapton, Richie Sambora, Joe Perry, everyone's played a Les Paul. They are one of those kind of guitars. And I've got to say, this Epiphone is lovely. That Heritage Cherry Sunburst finish, which is, I probably say is one of the most iconic finishes without a shadow of a doubt. And the top is beautiful. That just looks so pro. It is unbelievable. The fading, how it goes, is just brilliant. Really very nice. It's got a maple cap. So the top of it's maple, it's got a mahogany body, a mahogany neck, a Pau Ferro fingerboard. And the Pau Ferro is it's an imitation of rosewood. So on the Gibson Les Paul standard you would have a rosewood fingerboard, but Pau Ferro is an imitation of rosewood. And it feels a little bit more gritty. If you don't know what the difference is between rosewood and maple, for example, so on the Fender Strat, this has got a maple fingerboard. Maple's cleaner, so it gives you that smoother, crisper, clearer sound. Just that subtle difference between maple and rosewood. This guitar comes loaded with two Pro Booker Humbucker pickups, which sound amazing. They really do. They sound so sweet. That little intro there. I had it in the middle position, uh, I had it in the, the, the woman tone as it was, which is a very famous Eric Clapton tone from the 1960s, uh, where he just basically rolled back the tones kept the volumes up to full, it just sounds so sweet. This has got 50s inspired wiring in it as well. So it really does give you that authentic Les Paul sound. It's absolutely brilliant, value for money, phenomenal. So with the two humbuckers, you've got a three-way selector switch. So in that position there, it's in what they call rhythm, which is the neck position. In that position there, it's both pickups together. So middle, uh, sorry, so neck and bridge. And in this position here, which is treble, you've got the bridge pickup working on its own. Each pickup has its own volume control, so that's the volume control for the neck, and that's the volume control for the bridge, and both have a tone control. Now, if you're not familiar with what tone is, the best way of describing it is taking the sound from light to dark. So when the tone is on 10, it's at its brightest, lightest sound. When it's on zero, 
it's darker in tone, so it's a darker sound. It's a bit like putting cotton wool in your ears. That's probably the best way of describing what, when you take the tone right off, it has that muffled kind of sound to it, which is very, very cool. Good for jazz as well. You can do exactly the same on a strap. And we'll get to the strap now. Tones are brilliant. I'm gonna play at the end of this video. I'm gonna cut it and go into some playing for you. So I'm gonna flick through all the different pickup sounds so you can really hear the difference. What's cool about both of these guitars as well is they're versatile. You can play any style of music on them both. They have both got what they call a modern uh, C-shaped neck. Uh, so that the, when you look at a Gibson or an Epiphone Les Paul, the necks between a 50s and a 60s era. So the 60s era have a slim taper neck and the 50s is a little bit chunkier. With this, it's not a massively chunky neck. It's still a very, very comfortable neck. It's a C shape, but it's a little bit chunky. They do a 60s version of the Les Paul as well, which is also available on our website. Uh, you can find links to all this stuff that I'm talking about below the video. You know, there's links to our website, so you can find out all the details and the pricing and hopefully make one of them yours. So what I'm saying is it's very comfortable to play, as is the Fender Strat. The Fender Strat also has a modern C-shaped neck, so it fits really nice into the palm of your hand. Strat's got a 9.5 inch radius as well, so it's a, they're both very, very player-friendly instruments. That's what I'm getting at, really. They both, you can pick them up, brand new out of the box, tune them up, and off you go. Machine heads as well are great for tuning stability. They really are fantastic. So the gear ratio inside them is holding tune really well. So when you're bending all your strings, it's keeping tune really nice on both guitars. So that is the Les Paul. Moving on to the Strat. I've got a black one here with a maple neck, which is very similar to the, well, it is exactly the same as the blacky one that Eric Clapton made famous, building a guitar out of two different guitars, putting the neck off one and the body off another and putting them together, created the famous iconic guitar which he used in the 70s and 80s. And this is same color, same neck, same style and it looks the part, it really does. It's beautiful, contoured body. It's a Fender Strat. It's very lightweight, very, very player friendly. They've both got 22 medium jumbo frets as well. So for bending strings, very very easy to do differences with this is you've got three single coil pickups rather than having two humbuckers this has got the three single coils it's got a master volume control and two tone controls so you just have one volume instead of the two on the Les Paul and a five-way selector switch rather than a three-way selector switch so in this position here it's the neck pickup on its own in that position there it's neck and middle that position there is middle on its own and that position is middle and bridge, and that's bridge on its own. What those do is those go from basically dark to light. The treble bridge, so the bridge pickup, the treble pickup is very, very bright. It's a very, very bright tone. That position there on the neck is very nice and warm and clear and crisp and clean, which you could hear in the first part of the video. I'm pretty sure I did have it on the neck position. So that first bit of playing that I did is on the neck position. And it's lovely, it really is great. I just think that the playability of these, tone, is perfect. If you are looking at getting an electric guitar, you, eventually, I'm gonna be honest with you now, you're gonna end up with both of them. I've got one of each, because they are different. N not one is better than the other. They're both brilliant instruments and they're both icons in their own right. Jimi Hendrix, Clapton, Jeff Beck, all play, Richie Sambora, playing a Strat, Playing different styles on a strap. Buddy Holly, for example, playing that, Hank Marvin, crisp, clean, nice uh, finger style, whatever you want to do on it. You can rock out Richie Sambora, Joe Perry from Aerosmith, all using straps because they are versatile. They're all using Les Pauls because the humbucker, them pro buckers sound amazing. They really, really do. Both icons, both available at Rimmer's Music. Just so you know, I'm playing through a Boss Katana amplifier. So it's the Boss Katana series, which are brilliant. So these amplifiers come in a whole range. I'm using a 100 watt version at the moment. So it's a 100 watt, it's a two by 12. So it's got two 12 inch speakers in it. That intro bit on the Strat, I had it on a clean sound with a little bit of reverb, and then I turned it up to a, a high gainy crunch sound. 
on the Les Paul so you could hear what that sounds like. I'm going to do a vice versa as well because you can play the Les Paul clean. Sounds sweet clean. Freddie King had a bit of a crunch, cleany crunch to it. Also, he had a gold top version of the Les Paul. You've got to check out all these artists. You've got to check out all these guitars on the Rimmers Music website. The amp's brilliant. It's not a ridiculously priced amplifier. It's around about £400 price mark. The guitar's are around £500. Perfect. As a next step for someone in the world of guitar. The gig worthy as well. The circuitry on that 50s with those Pro Booker pickups. That's gig worthy. That sounds sweet. Really does. Brilliant. It looks cool as well. And that finish is beautiful. A strap. It's black. Comes in different colours. Iconic sunbursts. Or polar whites. Comes with different necks as well. Just to mention, this is a maple fingerboard, but you can also get it with a Palfaro fingerboard, which is like the, the Les Paul, so it's that imitation of the Rosewood. Uh, which is a little bit more gritty, like a Stevie Ray Vaughan, and Jeff Beck prefer the Rosewood fingerboards on them. They just have a bit more grit to them. There we go. I hope that has been helpful. I think I've covered everything near enough. Got any questions? Leave a comment, ask any questions. We'll get back to you as best we can with the answers to your questions. Thank you for watching so far, and I hope you enjoy the playing part. I'm going to switch it over now. I'm going to play a little bit on both of them for you so you can hear what they both sound like. So check the next part of the video out.